So I'm going to show you my uh, last Hobonichi haul for this year and I got the tiny tiny box. I don't think you understand how tiny it is until you compare it with last year's box. It's like not half the size but it's uh, it's about an A5 size box but it was all inside a bigger box and uh, these three things came with uh, my order from Japan and I'm actually going to start with this one which should be my A6 Mina Perhonen piece cover and this is what took such a long time. I ordered on September 1st, but it only came now. So this is really nice item. It's leather on the inside. I love the yellow. Such a lovely mustard yellow. Let's see what color it is. Oh, these are yellow too. And some cards. And let's see. It's loop looks like i got a really great pattern placement so my name is helena and i love uh Hoponichi brand i love the planners i love bullet journals and uh, in this video i'm not only going to unbox i'm also going to talk a bit about what my planner lineup will look like next year um Let's open this one. So what I'm doing now is I'm journaling in an A6 and using an A5 Avec Hobonichi as a planner. And because uh, the A5 size is a bit big for a planner, I'm constantly looking for covers that are light. And this is actually for the day free, meaning the planner that only has a monthly pages and then empty pages. Oh, it's a bit stiff. So I could try this with, this is my AVEC for next year, but I could try this with my current planner. This has been nice, this uh, cover, very useful, but it has gotten a bit scuffed and dirty. And uh, yeah, by the way, I put an extra pen loop here, just an loiter pen loop so i can carry two pens so that has been very practical so let's see how it fits in this one this is one of those things i've been thinking about getting for such a long time and you only get the day free covers from the hobonichi site you don't get them from the Finnish shops, from the sort of local retailers I usually buy stuff from. But this time, actually, this is the first time I had no trouble with the Hobonichi uh, package. It's a bit small, but it's sort of smaller than these big ones. So this will be, this could actually be a great, I don't know how I do. you do with pens. This double pen loop is a bit sort of tricky to use because it's a pen loop only for so this could be nice maybe I don't know if it's any better than this one I, I I'm not crazy about the color on this one so that has been the only thing plus I got some glue on it as I told you in previous videos this could be a great way to carry my planner and have it really sleek. But I have something in this package to jazz it up with. Okay, I'm just going to cut that, cut the sticker. Okay, I'm of course going to save the box, although I have a habit of saving too many boxes. It has gotten a bit crazy, but this is such a nice box. I just have to have and fill it with something, then it's useful and save empty boxes but I don't have space for that and there's a quote as usual it's so tiny this box ah let's take everything out okay this is why I wanted to to get it from Japan because uh, 
I like getting the pen. Let's compare it with this. It's actually, it's yellow and red, but it's more like a tomato red. It's not very bright and a soft yellow. Maybe I should put this year's pen here. At least it's a bright pen that you see. And then these are like uh, from a few years back sort of iron-on patches and I've bought some other iron-on patches from second hand oh they're, they're really glue so I'm thinking about putting some iron-on patches on this one to make it more fun but I have to check out I have to compare with the other ones I have let's see this could be quite nice I have this uh, butterfly somewhere that would be nice with this one yes oh this is just some oh they're big these are just some cards I threw in them just for fun I made sort of an order from Hobonichi with things that you couldn't get in the other shops now these are very nice cards but I'm probably going to use them as why does it read whiteboard colored <laughs> it's well i'm probably going to use this as decoration somewhere then this is an interesting this is the button that was part of a cover a few years back and i've been thinking about using it possibly here on my Traveler's Notebook. Like, I don't know, it's very yellow. It looks very sort of like fake gold almost. These other buttons that are just whatever I happen to find, okay, are almost a nicer color. It has a bee and a flower, but why not? I could slip it on there and have it like a button here I've, I've bought some travelers journals stuff too and this will be my journal next year i've been thinking a lot should i use this as a planner and the a5 as a journal and and do memory planning in it but i think this will be my planner plus a place i could stick in memorabilia like you know you get a card from someone or something Stuff that doesn't fit into A6 because oh I finally get this in English so I can read what it says I have to read it when I have more time okay this has been shown in so many videos I don't have to I this is my first time getting the English A6 and I like that it has the, the days of the week so that I understand in the Japanese version, they don't have like Monday, Tuesday here. I've used the sort of uh, English planner they have for years, which it has a different design. And I liked it, but it's fun to have this one. So let's put it in this cover. Uh, and you have to bend back this to get the planner into the cover properly okay like this and I have you know one thing I'm not going to do next year is have a separate memory planner like this year I've had a Muji notebook with uh, weekly pages like this and it's doesn't sit very I put it just in this uh, I got this Mina Perman piece cover I think a couple of years ago so now I have it in both A5 and A6 and they are very pretty I think they match each other so my collector's heart is happy so I'm not going to have a separate memory planner instead I'm either going to do memory planning you know with my other journaling or 
I don't know what I'm going to do this with this one. You know, this cover is from this year's collection, but I don't think I want to use it with my daily planner. I have a empty notebook here now, so it could be like an art journal of memories. I don't know. This is not turning into a proper planner lineup video, but maybe it doesn't have to be one. But I could show my other memory planning idea is to use this one. I have some undated pages for it. But I think this will be a sort of wedding memories thing. So this will probably be sort of a wedding album and I'm going to be able to put pictures in it at the end of the year. And then it's not like my personal memory planner like this one has been. Uh, but the most exciting thing, of course, the nice thing with getting a planner from Japan is that I get not only the pen, let's look like, look what the pen looks like here, but I'm not using this pen for my journaling, just to see how it looks. Uh, let's see with... Everybody, it's the notebook that you get as a freebie, but it's everybody gets a different design. Oh, I got the black one. Oh, it's really cool. I think they're all nice. So, so this is an extra notebook, but I might give it away. So I'm planning to give away some extra uh, planning stuff at Christmas. And uh, then, oh, I got some of these traveler's journal th things, like more of these strings. I think you can change up the string for this. Oh, here's just some tape, extra tape. Um, so I use this for travel journaling and any time I want a small journal with me. So I really only bought one insert and that's a monthly. I have so many other sort of inter... Oh, it has nice stickers so I can put the stickers on it. Mm, but then this was maybe a bit unnecessary. I ordered this sometime in August, so... But it's so cute, the theme of this year. I I don't know, but I don't really use the this um, pencil board so much for my traveler's notebook. And I've never gotten these sticker sets before. Well, these are nice, these stickers, but this is the stuff that I'm probably not using that I should probably sell or give away. And, hmm, are these stickers too? Okay, alphabet stickers you always have use for. So this should be my last sort of shop for next year. And let's see if I feel like doing another serious planner lineup with you at some point. But basically these two will be my main squeezes, a journal and a planner. And then I have a travel journal, possibly some sort of art journal, possibly an album for wedding memories. And then I have my sort of, I call it the collections bullet journal. It's a book where, you know, it's a notebook for important notes that I use from year to year. So you've seen it if you have been on my channel and then some, a notebook for a writing project, but yeah. I'm exciting for the excited for the next year and I'm going to try out this cover. This has been a year when I've been trying out different things with my planning and journaling. But I hope to find sort of a I don't know, calm in it, find a setup that works from year to year and is not too complicated. But yeah. Have a lovely winter and uh, looking forward to 2025.